mask on. Mask on. Fucking mask on. Purple cup. Yeah, that's. Chill. I'm your host, Zach Velling. And today we'll be discussing the economics of taking AP Economics on Economics Watch on Hills. I'm here alongside Gavin Van Skyver and James Nuzzi. We will be diving into the world of high school economics classes and discussing whether it's worth taking AP Economics in high school or not. Is it better to have more time or better preparation for college? To begin, we'll be discussing the marginal cost of taking econ with Dr. D. You get a lot of homework, you have to study so much. Tests and quizzes provide students with a lot of stress, and you never have enough time to go to parties or the gym. Because I don't take AP Econ, I got time to run 5Ks and go to the gym. So Matt, what do you think would happen to the short-run aggregate supply curve if the price of a commodity such as oil was raised by oil? It would shift right. I learned that in Dr. D's Econ class. Good job! The benefits of taking AP Econ is a college-level understanding of economics and AP credits, which can help reduce the price of a college education. If the price of a good changes, will the demand change or the quantity demanded? Um... I don't know. Okay. Econ does, however, have only a certain amount of worth. There is something to be said about taking the class. When a student signs up for econ, he or she is losing the ability to take a different class. This means they lose the ability to take other real classes that matter, and students get less individual attention due to a larger class size from high sign up rather than econ. Zach Valling, we're here today with local EMT. Mike, and uh, I actually have a couple questions for you, sir. How does saving lives as a local EMT compare with taking the economics? It's harder. It's harder. You heard it here, folks. It's harder. High demand for economic classes has resulted in a black market for econ classes. Underclassmen who can't get in because of the high demand have started going to Dan Lee, the school vegan, to learn econ. They're paying Dan very generously with vegetables because he's a vegan to learn econ. I am Dan and I am vegan. <laughs> this brings up the question though, why do so many people want to take AP Econ? From dozens of surveys conducted by our research group, we found that many people see Econ as an easy AP class, similar to apes. This means that due to low workloads, they have more time to go to the gym and get swole. We've also found that there is still enough work and stress that students may have time to go to the gym, but don't, thus proving our point that taking the class is a bad idea. Due to the high demand of econ classes and knowledge about economics, more people are learning about economics, thus diminishing the overall worth of the education AP students get from taking a college-level AP class with Dr. D. As more people learn econ, inflation of econ knowledge worth goes up, shifting the unemployment left along the Phillips curve. We are now going to head out to the NJ Sharing Network 5K in New Providence to interview some people about economics. Hi, I'm Zach Belling, and I'm here today with my lord and savior, the king of Camelot. And uh, we have a couple questions from today. So, sir. Do you think it's worthwhile to take an AP or a high-level course rather than taking a normal-level course, given that you'll have less free time to spend in your community and doing stuff like five days? Well, in, in medieval times, we're all about chivalry, which is giving back to the community and doing good deeds for others. So, uh, my belief is that having more free time, while AP classes are good, having more free time gives you that opportunity to help others more than helping yourself. So you would say don't take uh, AP economics? Yeah. I would not say don't take it, it is worthy, worthwhile, but uh, if given the choice, if you said I had to make a choice, I would choose the opportunity for more free time to give to others. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. As you can see, the general public seems to have a very solid grasp on economics. This helps assert our claim that since the knowledge is becoming public rather than only for a select few, the worth of that knowledge is decreasing and inflation of econ knowledge worth is rising. We are now going to head out to Starbucks in Warren, NJ, to show how high barriers of entry in a, into a duopoly. 
Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks control the coffee industry in New Jersey, so we are going to set up a small coffee stand outside the Starbucks and see if we can sell our coffee to people. It is a lower price, so they should want to buy it. Dude, 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 say something. Say something. Excuse me, you guys want to buy some uh, coffee for $2? Once again, coffee, two dollars, goes to Watch Young Hills. That's four no's, zero yeses. As you saw, no one wanted to buy our coffee because they trusted the big brand. It's hard for the little guy to jump into an established business and make it. The same is true with economics classes. Anyone could learn and teach economics. But the industry is so hard to get into that unless you're Dr. D, you literally have zero chance. Moving on to the topic of marginal utility and elasticity, we have discovered that economics is elastic. The more work people will have to put into taking the class, the less people will demand the class. Currently, it is an easy AP, so demand is high. If it becomes a hard AP, then demand will drop. With the come of the new year and the topic shift from micro to macro, our grades changed from A's to B's and C's. Now, as a final goodbye to economics and our grades, we dubbed this raft as e cone Omics and set it adrift to a traditional Viking funeral. So, uh, what do you think we deserve on this AP Econ video? An A plus. 